this is Chris from Style Harmony. Thank you for joining me. Today's video is going to be about making some coasters with or for your children, for your kids. And this is a project that I have done with uh, during my schools with some kids that were about 7, 6, 7 to 10, 11. And they're very easy to do, very simple. You can use different materials. But the main material here that we're going to use are popsicle sticks. So these are the regular ones you can find. And you have also the jumbo sticks that are much bigger. But I don't want to use these because it's going to make a very, very big a very big coaster and I don't think it's gonna be really nice to look at I think this one is really nice and it's not more complicated just need a few more the other thing that we'll need here are some uh, napkins and you can find these everywhere of course you just choose the one your kids will love to do and I have here uh, Winnie the Pooh there's spider-man and there's cars but I think I'm gonna use this one because I really think it's fun and it's bright you could use also Christmas napkins for this and for this example I am going to use some hot glue because for the purpose of the video and for the quickening of the glue it's easier but you could use also Elmer's glue you could use wood glue wood glue would be perfect because it's going to really make it um, fix really well fixed together and as I'm going to use hot glue, I really don't want to burn myself, so I'm going to use either a silicone spatula, you can find these I guess very easily in uh, kitchen stores or whatnot, or you can find these, I don't know how you call them, to put on your fingers, it's also made out of silicone and specifically for hot glue to not burn yourself. But this would do perfectly as well. So what I'm going to do here is just put some more popsicle sticks next to each other and try to align them as best as you can and if your kids are too small or if they don't want to use this hot glue because it's dangerous and they can burn it themselves just use regular Elmer's glue and that will do the trick too so I'm putting some glue here and there trying to light it up as much as I care and I'm using a non-stick uh, piece of paper here you could use a cooking sheet also that would make the trick so it's not going to stick on your surface okay this is what I'm using the silicone spatula is to l press down the glue and make it as as neat as possible I'm gonna do a few more here oops it's really runny Okay, this glue is really, really runny. And if you young people are watching this video, please do this under supervision of an adult because I don't want you to burn yourself and it can happen very quickly with, whoops, like I just did with glue guns but if I use Elmer's glue right now or even Mod Podge it's gonna take way too long for it to dry and I'm just rubbing off the excess it cools down fairly quickly okay so I'm gonna finish this part I think you got what I'm doing and I'll be back as soon as it's just over and I'm gonna put few pieces here on the back I'll show you that too okay I'm back so now this is done I'm just going to put two or three more on the back of it and you'll find out that maybe the back is nicer than the front so just use what is nicer on the front because we need something really nice and if you have some little pokey things going out here just use a little a light sandpaper to sand it off it goes off very very easily so I'm going to put hot glue here it's going to make my coaster be sturdier so I'm going to put two on the edges here on each ed edge and one in, in the middle of it. One here and one there. 
it's just going to help everything stay in place. And last one here in the middle. And you can put more if you want to. That's totally fine. If you feel it's not safe enough, maybe put two more. You've got some more space here and there also. Okay, now this is done. We're going to take some paint and I would recommend using white paint just to paint everything down because it's going to be nicer later on when you're going to put your napkin. Because here it's not regular, sometimes it's darker and it's going to affect a little bit the, the color of your napkin. So I'm going to get my paint and I'll be back again. So I'm back. I'm going to take these little pieces of glue off. And you see it's going away very, very easily just with your nails. And if you don't have them, just use maybe a knife. That would do great. Okay, and now I'm going to use this acrylic paint. It's Crayola. Use whatever you have. I like it because it's fairly thick. So you don't need to put too many coats. Just one coat should be should be fairly enough and you're going to be able to paint this very quickly your children can do this with no problem don't put to don't add uh, water to this just go plain acrylic and you can see here some imperfections due to the glue but it doesn't matter because we're going to cover up everything and if you want to paint here the these edges that would be the good moment to do that and I'm going to do it unless you like it plain here they decided that they didn't want to paint it they just let it this way or you can use another color you could use if I use this napkin for example um, they could paint it yellow or pink or any other color that is in this napkin that would be absolutely fine I'm going to choose to paint it in white I'm going to use a little bit more Because also the acrylic paint is going to protect this wood. And I do this every year with the with the children and they love this, they enjoy it. Depending on their age, if they are girls or boys, they all can do this and they just choose different uh, images for their coasters. So of course if you want to paint the other side, you can do that too as soon as this one is uh, is dry, you could go and paint the other side. I'm not going to do it for this example. I'm just going to leave this dry and I'll be back and show you how to apply the napkin. And it's the same process that for the previous video I did. That was a coaster more for adults with a Christmas poinsettia on it. It's exactly the same thing and they can handle it. I mean really your kids can handle napkins even though it's very fragile. So I'm going to let this dry and again I'll be back in a few seconds or minutes. Okay, I'm back. So now my um, my coaster is dry and I've cut down my napkin to more or less the size of my coaster and I've took all the layers away and just need to take um, to stay with the top layer one. And for this part now, you can use some Elmer's glue but you need to water it down by about 50% with water. Otherwise, I'm just going to use some Mod Podge here because it's already good to go. No no need to water it down and I'm gonna place it like this so now with a very smooth and flexible paintbrush I am going to put my Mod Podge here and in the central movement here you start from the center and then you go back on the sides and the secret here in order not to tear apart your napkin is that your paintbrush and your towel needs to be quite wet. That's the secret to it. If it's not wet enough and if your paintbrush is not wet enough it's going to tear apart your napkin here. So it's going to make some wrinkles but that's okay. That's part of the beauty of the napkins and when you get more used to it you will see that there will be less and less wrinkles. And it's really fast to do 
And even this step is not difficult for the children because I've seen them doing this many times and they don't have any problem. If you don't want to use a napkin, you think it's still too complicated or too fragile, um, use just paper. You know, you print out a, um, a drawing or a picture on a regular piece of paper and you can do the exact same thing that I'm doing right now. I've got something here, my Mod Podge. And if you're making a mistake and you're tearing it apart, either you cut another piece of the napkin and you stick it back, or when it's completely dry, you can use some markers. I would preferably use, um, what's the brand, Sharpies, and use the right color and fill in the blanks if you have any. So now I've been there, it's enough. And if you see too many wrinkles, just take a little bit of more Mod Podge and just try to maybe push your brush a little harder, not too much, and it's going to take away a lot of the wrinkles this way. Try not to go back too many times at the same place, that's another risk. But you see it's going very, very quickly. And doing this with your children, they like when parents, when they have time, of course, if you have time to do this with them, or if it's a rainy day, a rainy Sunday, that's nice to do. So that's it. Now we're going to have to wait again. So if you want to make several of these, that would be perfect, because while you're doing one, the other is drying, and you can make a whole bunch of these depending on how many children you have, or if they just want to change for other coasters, or maybe have coasters for their friends ready when they come home. So I'm going to pause this again, and I'll be back as soon as it's dry. So now this is dry, I am going to show you how to um, rip off all the paper on the sides. And you could do this different ways. The easiest way to do it is just to rip off all the edges here. It's very simple. If you really put glue everywhere, it's not going to take any time at all to rip off everything. I'm pulling down. I'm not pulling up, just in case I forgot a spot here with my glue. And you're just pulling down everything. You can come back with an Exato knife and cut these pieces a little bit better. You could use small scissors. I would recommend doing this also. And I would do it upside down when you want to cut it. It's going to be easier. So you can cut the big parts with your scissors. And then the easiest way to do it is using a file. So a simple nail file is going to be perfect for this. The smaller one, the better to go in these little uh, crevices here. And you're just going to bring it down, sand it down, and it's very easy. And it's going to make something really neat. So you're going to do this for all your sides. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I think you got it. And it's really going to take everything out, and it will be nice to go. Once this is done and it's almost ready, you could paint these. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is going away. You could paint these little bits like I told you before, or put some more um, napkins on it if you have some leftovers, or even paint it another color. I may paint these, I don't know, maybe yellow. I think it'll be nice. It's going to pop up. And I would absolutely recommend putting at least, I would say, four layers of, um, of your varnish. It can be the Mod Podge, it can be Elmer's glue, watered down, because it's going to protect this surface from water that is going to be maybe spilled on it. And this is done. It's a very, very simple way to do some um, activities DIYs with your children during the holidays or maybe also during the weekend. It's very, very simple. So I hope this video was interesting for you. Please, if it was the case, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And I'll see you very soon for another video. And this time it's going to be about Christmas. And we're going to start doing some decorations. See you soon for another video. Bye-bye.